Here's a live look outside Valley News Live Storm Team Skycam Network shot at Luther Family Ford, where we have partly cloudy skies as of right now, but we have seen some sunshine, even though a northwesterly wind is keeping temperatures down. We're at 56 degrees, about 10 degrees below average for this time of year, into the lower 50s across Lakes Country, lower 50s out toward Jamestown and Valley City. Making our way further north, we're near that 50 degree mark in the Devil's Lake Basin, mid 50s as you make your way from the northern valley into northwestern Minnesota. And uh, the wind speeds across the region around 10 to 20 miles per hour, mainly from a really cool northerly direction right now. Uh, let's take a look at the current satellite loop. We do have an area of uh, sunshine right now, stretching from Jamestown to Valley City, Fargo, and up uh, toward the Thief River Falls area, up toward Roseau and Bidette, even Bemidji. But as you make your way from Detroit Lakes, Fergus Falls, Jamestown points off to the south and into the northern valley and the Devil's Lake Basin, some cloud cover, and there are a few showers or sprinkles especially across our far northern counties right now uh, into the Cavalier area approaching Hallock uh, just off to the north of Langdon but most of us are staying dry. Now we do have uh, high pressure, a very small area of high pressure that's approaching that will clear us out in terms of cloud cover during the overnight and then we're tracking that low pressure system well off to our west and that will cross our forecast area starting Saturday night through Monday morning give us a good amount of rain but for First, we're dealing with some really cool temperatures during the overnight. If it does clear out, we're going to see temperatures into the mid-30s, possibly lower 30s, uh, where we do have uh, a frost advisory in effect. Our far northern counties and our northeastern counties. This is through tomorrow at 9 a.m. Let's take a look at the hour by hour forecast. Decreasing clouds turning mostly clear in some areas. Temperatures falling back into the lower 40s by around the 11 p.m. hour and into the mid to upper 30s across the region to start off your Saturday. And most of the daylight hours look pretty nice. We'll have an increase in the clouds though and uh, temperatures still stay on the cool side. We're going to be into the mid to upper 50s, but the rain does approach and uh, it will be heavy and steady at times lasting from Saturday night all the way possibly through Monday morning. So here is the uh, hourly forecast. Uh, as you make your way up and down the valley tomorrow, we do have uh, temperatures into the upper 50s. Outside the valley, we're going to say low to mid 50s. By around 5 p.m., we will uh, just be cloudy, but more rain is moving in later on into the evening. And now let's go overnight Saturday into Sunday. There's your periods of rain, a little breezy, and the rain could be heavy and steady at times. Low temperatures to start off your Sunday into the mid to upper 40s. And going through Sunday, the rain continues, and we could have a few thunderstorms, especially thund Sunday evening into our southern counties, with temperatures not really going very far. Some of us not getting out of the 40s for high temperatures and the rain continues through your Sunday night and possibly into Monday morning. Here is the photo of the day. It's called Sunrise in War Road, Minnesota. Thank you to Sherry for this one. Use it in the background of the seven day forecast and there's your rain through the weekend. The rain does pull in uh, slightly warmer air. 60 on Sunday and 65 on Monday. Now by Monday afternoon we should be back to mostly cloudy skies and then a mainly dry weather pattern but we are cool Tuesday at 50 55, partly cloudy skies through Wednesday, 54 and 57 on Thursday. And uh, the Wednesday, Thursday morning time frame, uh, best chance of seeing a frost or a possible freeze. And then we start to warm it up, partly cloudy on Friday and a high of 62 degrees. Slightly warmer. I like those words. Yeah, we are going to be warmer by the end of the week yeah. and uh, just have to deal with that rain over the weekend. That's right. And we do have a village in 